Hello, today I'm going to show you how to change your work with me page and set up on your website. I'm going to be talking just to Divi theme users and showing you how to make a change. So rather than having a work with me page where you try and explain everything on the one page, you actually create what's called a menu hierarchy so don't worry about the words too much but basically you have a high level page and then you have a page for each service and they kind of sit below and they display on your menu like a drop down so I know that words sometimes aren't the best way for me to explain things so I'm going to show you what I mean so for my website I don't actually have a, a work with me page on its own um, on my home page I have a bit of a setup where I kind of tease out the main branches of what I do in terms of work with me and then people can click these and then they can read a little bit about that and then this button takes them to a page that talks all about that one thing and in my work with me section I actually just boom straight in and list out all the different things that I offer so these are the children of this one. This is the like parent level menu item. And then these are all children of the parent. And then there's children of the children. Um, I don't know what that's called. I guess they're grandchildren menu items. But um, someone who I work with and help would like to create this because she currently has um, just a single work with me page so let's have a look this website belongs to lisa eastley and it was built by the brilliant julie gibbons and lisa's just feeling confident enough now that you know she's done a bunch of stuff we set up wp courseware on her website and she's feeling confident that she can edit things on her website so what she would like is to change her work with me page which is currently so beautiful julie's work um you know, it's got her naturopathic services, but then it's got all the info about that on this one page. It's got Bowen therapy and all the Bowen info. So what we're thinking is to have just the little blurb and then a button that says learn more. And we would put all this stuff here on another page and have it. So there is a work with me page that people can click, but there's also drop downs. One would be homeopathic service. One would be Bowen therapy. And we're also probably going to squeeze in her other service, which is detox. So I'm going to go through the process of showing you how to, how to um, create the work with me page as the main menu item and then how to make a new page and add that to this so I'm going to just have a little crack at that the first thing I would do is I would create a new page and I do that by hovering over new and click page so then I would give this a name and I have a little look here what she got homeopath or oh, naturopathic services not homeopathic I should know that it's just early Monday morning um, and then what I tend to do is just publish straight away because what I will do is I'll shortcut it and I'll click view page I'll just shortcut a lot of the work by let's see I click enable visual builder and I clone that work with me page I won't even have to type any words <laughs> I'll just have to delete a few things and you'll see it's quite fun so we're going to clone the existing page and work with me if I, oh, there it is easy we're going to use this layout and <clears throat> great so I think that we would probably change this here I think that that needs to say what the other thing says so I right click and say paste and match style so that I don't mess up any of the beautiful work I have this feeling like these two don't we, we don't need these two sections so I'm going to delete that section and delete this section. And I'm also going to delete this whoop, and this whoop. Great. So I think we can leave the rest of it as is. Maybe we don't need to say that again. But you know what? I'm going to leave it and let Lisa decide. But essentially... We're going to leave the naturopathic stuff and then we're going to delete the rest. So the Bowen therapy bits can all go. We'll leave that and then click save. So the page is pretty much ready. We didn't have to do anything. Later on, we'll probably come back to the work with me page and delete. I'd delete this part out. 
um, but the the top section can stay and we would need to add a button so you know what I'm going to click exit visual builder now that I've saved and then I'm going to grab the link of this page I'm going to come back to work with me I'm going to enable visual builder And I'm going to take out those sections that I mentioned. I'm going to take out. I'm going to take out this whole section actually, because that's all on the other page. And I'm going to add a button. Now I just want to find one of our nice buttons that we've already got. Just duplicate it, bring it up. We don't really need to reinvent the wheel. Someone's already gone to a lot of trouble making it incredibly beautiful. So I click on the cog. I just say learn more about um i probably need to do all caps no. come on brain naturopathic services oh actually i'm seeing oh, i can't spell naturopathic and we'll put the link from that other page into this button and i just realized i've got that in the bowen section so i'm going to zhuzh that up here so because I'm going to let Lisa do the page creation button and um, yeah, I'm going to let Lisa do the new page creation and menus um, adjustments for the Bowen therapy. Because I think the thing I really care about is that people feel um, really empowered about their website and they feel like they can go in and make changes because these changes aren't really that difficult in my opinion and i think it's just so important for women particularly to not have to defer to some tech specialist jargony i'm not saying julie's that but you know sometimes men web designers can really just take women's power away and so i'm all about helping women to be in their power know how to use their tech and yeah, just feel great about their website. So let's have a look at it now. Um, what Julie does so well is she's got this little bit up here, which is for mobile display. So if you ever see these sections that are light, light, lighter, like more translucent, don't delete them. <laughs> That's your web developer like looking after you. Like if we look at it in tablet view, oh, she's got both displaying. We should fix that. But um, on mobile view. Oh, she's doing both. Oh, well, that's nice. And she's got two pictures on mobile and tablet view. And they're like a different width, you see. So they fit the page better. All right. Um, great. So we've got the button linked up. The final thing, I like clicking save a lot, is to exit visual builder, number one. Number two, make sure when we click this that it takes us to... The spot where we need to go yes it brought us to the new page naturopathic services it's got all the info brilliant so the final thing is to change the menu but now I'm realizing that it's a little bit dense like packed on top of each other like this so what I'm gonna do one more thing I'm gonna try to swap the columns over because I'd really like it if there was just a bit more variance so that the, if I can swap that over. Oh, I see that's not going to be all that straightforward. Actually, what I'm going to do is just add some spacing on top and then there'll be at least a bit of a break. Anyhow, these little um, formatting things, you can spend a long time trying to perfect the visuals um, that's why it's great to have a web designer cool I think that's a bit more space now this can sort of stand on its own and Lisa will come and fix this up really soon and then there'll just be the two options and maybe later we'll have the detox option so the final thing is sorting out this menu um, I like to just hover over the name of the website and come to theme customizer but depending on your DB theme website that may not display if it doesn't just go into the dashboard and um, we can fix it there but let's look at it this way so come down to menus main menu and the work with me so we're going to add an item 
and we're going to add that new naturopathic services page and to make it so that it drops down remember how this drops down to make it so it drops down we just bring it under the one we want it to be under work with me and we just make sure that it sits in from that one that's really all there is to it and click publish it's just a click and drag functionality so if we brought it here and it sat at the same level it would display up the top here and we don't want that we want it to sit under as a drop down see if it's there it's got its own spot but just it is helpful to just keep your navigation as clean as possible so in that way we just tuck it in and it's going to be the drop down so let's have a look once you click publish and close this we get to see it in action and now we've got naturopathic services there so I reckon Lisa's is going to be able to do this change to the last bit for the bone therapy one and also she'll be able to go ahead and make any new page and add that in to her drop down if you're not getting this drop down here then just come into your dashboard and you'll see under appearance there's customize so that you can do it in that view that I just used or you can choose menus and this is another way to manage your menus you just do the exact same thing like the items are over here you click it and click add to menu and then once it's over here you can drag it around put it wherever you want and yeah we won't save that because um, we've already sorted out the menu hopefully that is helpful and let me know how you go Lisa and if you have a Divi theme website I hope you enjoy it and I hope you feel empowered to make changes just be a boss. See you soon.